Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 11th of October 2021. And we have a number of very interesting news from the world of whiskey. And the first one is a very old whiskey. And it's a collaboration between Glen Grant and Rolls Royce. They're bringing out a 60 year old Glen Grant in honor of Grant, uh, Glen Grant Dennis Malcolm. And it's this 60th anniversary edition. Uh, Dennis Malcolm is a distiller that work, uh, works already for uh, six, uh, six uh, decades in the whiskey industry and this is now celebrated and honored with this limited edition and is limited to 360 decanters. Then we have news from the Glen Livet distillery. They did an archaeological digging and they found an illegal whiskey distilling place. And it's around 200 years old. So they are still investigating or looking for if that is the place where the Glen Livet distillery kind of was founded or if these were the yeah, predecessors of the Glen Livet distillery with an illicit, uh, illicit distilling. Uh, business uh, around there. Then we have the Smokehead Twisted Scout. It's a limited whiskey uh, from Smokehead and that was partly uh, matured in stout casks, 43% and unfortunately only available at Smokehead. Then we have news from Dalmore. The Dalmore Decades 5 Pieces Collection comes for $275,000 and it's a collection with five bottles and there are only 15 collections worldwide. And the following years are inside the collections. 1967, 1979, 1980, 1995 and 2000. So it's a very yeah, prestigious collection. Then we have a new, um, yeah, uh, distillery on Isla plant. It's a very ecological distillery and uh, they want to be carbon, uh, low carbon or carbon neutral. And they are planning to build it on the Isle of Isla and they want to build it on the west arm of the island. So it's the Gerach farm near Port Charlotte. And not quite sure if they be gonna be at the coast as it's traditional or if they're gonna be inside the land. Um, but they will be on the west side of the isle and they are going to be called Illy Distillery or Lee Distillery. I'm not quite sure how they are calling themselves, but uh, planning a distillery on Isla have tried a lot of people, but actually building one have only a few of them have succeeded. Um, one who has planned and succeeded is the Loch Lea distillery and they are unveiling their first single malt whiskey. It's a lowland distillery and they are bringing out a 46% whiskey with first fill bourbon and PX sherry casks, maturation not colored, not in chill filtered. And the uh, distillery manager is Malcolm Rainey and we know him from Artbeck and Bruchladi and Kilshoman. So he has already enough experience to bring out such a nice whiskey from the lowlands. Then we have another record that has been put up, this time by Gordon MacPhail. They were auctioning off an 80 year old Gordon and MacPhail. And it's a very, very old single malt, 193,000 US dollars was the price they got for one bottle. And it came from the Glenlivet distillery from the year 1940. Then we go down south to England and the Ellers Farm Distillery is very close to being opened. So there's a new distillery there in England in the near, uh, near North Yorkshire and it's a carbon neutral distillery. And if everything goes right, then they will open their distillery in the spring 2020 uh, 20, and they will all be carbon neutral. Then we go over to Ireland and the Ireland, uh, there is the Writer's Tears and they are unveiling their new ice wine finish. It's an Irish Welsh whiskey and the Writer's Tears uh, work together with a Canadian wine bodega called Inniskilling 
and uh, they are brought out this ice wine cask finish. It's a mixture of single pot still and single malt whiskey and it was uh, finished for 12 months in uh, ice wine hogsheads with 46% ABV and limited to 3500 bottles. Then we have news from the world of whiskey from the United States and Buffalo Trace is revealing their antique collection 2021 and it's uh, a collection that has already been there for two decades and they're bringing out whiskies from different ages and different uh, yeah, origins. This year there will not be a George T. Stag 15 year old. Everybody asks why? And the distillery answered with, uh, yeah, didn't, they couldn't find enough casks that met, uh, that met the quality standards that they were setting for George T. Stagg, 15 years old. So they don't bring it out at all. They don't want to bring out low quality for that kind of bottling because that is known to be really, really good. All the other bottlings, they will come out end of this month. Um, then we have the Lux Row Distillers. They're bringing out the Rebel Bourbon Tony Port finish. And they come from the state of Kentucky. And it's a four year old maturation in American oak casks to be a bourbon. And then they are finishing it for six months in ex Tony Port barrels. Very interesting and very yeah, new way of. Uh, bringing out whiskies in the United States. Lux Row Distillers is an upcoming and uh, yeah, in rising distillery. So you better watch out for that because that might be really good. Yeah, that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.